Her daughter was in those pictures, but how she looked. The pictures spilled out of the envelope, and Mia stood there, hesitant to pick them up. And then rage seized her with such force that she wanted to break something immediately. That's my husband. I wanted to scream at her. Mine, not my daughter's. She was wrong. Woody Allen no longer belonged to her. The dumpsters were best approached after dark. During the day, there were too many people looking for free food. The six-year-old girl had learned well the laws of the street. He who is stronger is right. The weak have to adapt. Soon Mihai had been roaming the streets for almost a year. One day, she went for a walk out of her cramped room with no furniture and decided not to return. No one was waiting for her at home. Her parents had lost their human form from the stupefying substances. She adapted to sleeping on park benches, where passersby sometimes fed her. Then she mastered the garbage cans. A couple of times, she had to run away. She seemed suspicious of men who offered her money. But in the spring of 1976, the girl was picked up by social services. How old are you? They asked her. She shrugged her shoulders. Soon Yai had forgotten her date of birth and her address. They tried to find her relatives, but to no avail. So the girl was given a new identity and placed at Street Paul's orphanage. Medics have determined that she is hardly more than six years old. Your birthday will be October 8, 1970, they told the girl. And an American couple wants to adopt you. These people soon me saw for the first time in January 1978. The man was cheerful and good-natured, but the woman was not to the girl's liking. She had very cold eyes, soon Yi would later write, although she was very beautiful and many people appreciated her for her acting talent. Mia Farrow, at that time already a famous actress, and her husband Andrew Preven, a little earlier adopted two Vietnamese children. Now they liked soon Yi, and for the girl began to prepare documents. In May 1978, she left Sewell for good. American newspapers were pleased to write about the adopted child of the star. Mia smiled charmingly at reporters. The baby is making progress, she wrote Nancy Sinatra. She spoke English, learns to read and play the piano. We've also put her in a ballet studio and writing school. In fact, Mia didn't do much with the kids. Most of her time was spent in movies. Soon Yi, like the other kids, was accompanied everywhere by nannies. It was not clear at all why the star foster parents suddenly decided to surround themselves with children. They always did not have enough time even for simple human communication. Perhaps they just needed additional PR. The actress was at that time 33 years old. Maria de Lourdes once took a pseudonym Mia. She was born in California and from birth was dedicated to the world of cinema. And how else, if your godfather is John Cukor himself, legendary director and screenwriter? She started out as a model and was very successful at it. In the 60s, such girls were fashionable, thin, long-legged, like teenagers. At 21, she married an elderly Frank Sinatra, realizing the dream of millions of American women. However, this marriage did not last long. Later met Andra Prevena at a time when she literally poured offers from directors. Roman Polanski's movie, Rosemary's Baby, made Mia Farrow superstar. From the game of the actress got a shiver, so she was convincing in the role. Few people knew that and at home hair sometimes stood up. Mia was prone to outbursts of aggression, from which everyone suffered, and three native children of the actress, and three adopted. True, she always had favorites, said Sun Ni, I was not one of them. Once for some fault Mia locked in the closet one of the boys, and he cried for a long time and asked for help. The actress did not move and forbade the other children to open the door. Only in the morning was the child allowed to come out. Such things were talked about much later, not in the 70s. At that time, especially not taken out of the house. In 1979, Mia's marriage to Ander broke up. It was said that the blame for a complex of reasons, and first of all, irrepressible temperament actress. All six children stayed with her but soon Pharaoh again flew the shooting. She healed wounds with Swedish director Njupvist, and then a humble intellectual with glasses, Woody Allen, came into her life. I never perceived him as if he were a father, said Sunyi, my father remained Ander.
and Woody is just my mom's husband. In her marriage to Alan, a director rapidly gaining popularity, Mia gave birth to a son, Ronan. Then she persuaded her husband to adopt two more children. This house increasingly resembled an orphanage of guys of different ages, nationality, color. We weren't really close, Sunni said. We could discuss things together, but it still felt like we were each living on a different planet. One day in high school, she badly twisted her leg. Woody Allen rushed to get his stepdaughter and took her to the hospital. It was during that time that they looked at each other very differently, not as an adult and a child. However, Sundi at that time was already 17. The scandal broke in 1992. Maya Farrow found a stack of pictures where her daughter was depicted in the very form in which she was born. Who put the light, whose hand glimpsed in several photos, there was no doubt, it was Mia's husband, Woody Allen. Newspapers rubbed their hands. What a great news. How much gossip had poured into their pages at once. He stole my daughter, I'll steal his daughter, Mia declared, and immediately filed a complaint against Allen that he had committed certain acts against another adopted daughter. However, the complaint was soon withdrawn. Evidence was clearly not enough, and everything looked like revenge Pharaoh to her third husband, and then still revealed the fact that Mia demanded from Woody $5 million just to not publicize the secrets of their common home, and Alan refused to pay. After a while, Mia decided to go through her husband again and said that Ronan, quite possibly, the son of Frank Sinatra, with whom she did not stop relations after the divorce. Andrew Praven sided with his ex-wife and defiantly refused to communicate with Sun Yi. Public opinion was divided. Some believed that this is the story of Lolita and were inclined to blame everything on the Korean. Others, that Alan, a grown man with life experience who clearly knew what he was doing, was to blame. He did have to take full responsibility. On August 17, 1992, he called a press conference where he bluntly stated that yes, he loved Soon Yi, and as soon as everything is settled, he will marry her. Soon Yi had got her master's degree from Columbia University, and in December 1997, she married Woody Allen. Now she could say of him, my husband, not Mon's husband. But Mia doesn't seem to have forgotten anything. She continued to give revealing interviews about her adopted daughter for a long time to come. Woody and Soon Yi settled in Manhattan. Although Soon Yi in her youth made some attempts to act in movies, after marriage she gave it up. She preferred a career as a wife and mother. Journalists once asked her, Is your marriage real? Perhaps you just want to prove something to your mother. Soon Yi laughed. Do you suppose, she said, that a marriage of a few decades' length could exist just to get back at Mia.